In part two of solving one-step equations, we are addressing the addition property of equality. In looking at the two problems that we are solving today, we notice that one has decimals and the other one has fractions. And so in solving our first problem, we look at our problem A minus three and four tenths is equal to one and seven tenths. Now we look at the constant that is attached to the variable. So what is attached to the letter A? Three and four tenths. And how is it attached? It's attached with a negative sign or a subtraction sign. So we ask ourselves, what is the opposite of subtraction? And that would be addition. So we are going to add three and four tenths to both sides of the equation. So when we go ahead and add three and four tenths to a negative three and four tenths, they're inverses of each other and they equal zero. So we're going to bring the letter A or our variable A down, set it equal to, and then we are going to add one and seven tenths and three and four tenths. Seven plus four is 11. We're going to carry our one. Three and one is four plus the one is five. Now it's not A equals 51. We have to make sure we keep our decimals in line as best as we can, and we need to insert it into our answer. So really, instead of A equals 51, the correct answer is A equals 5.1. Let's go and check our work. So wherever I see a variable A, I'm going to put 5.1. So 5.1 subtract or minus, 3.4 is supposed to equal 1.7, or 1 and 7 tenths. So when we subtract, we see that 5 and 1 tenths minus 3 and 4 tenths is 1 and 7 tenths. And sure enough, they check. And we are double checked, and we guarantee that we have a correct answer. Now in the next problem, we have negative 1 fifth plus C equals three-fifths. So we ask, what is attached to the letter C or the variable C? It is attached by a negative one-fifth. So the inverse of a negative one-fifth is a positive one-fifth. So we are going to add both of those together. A negative one-fifth and a positive one-fifth is an inverse, so it equals zero. So now we have C by ourselves, and I went ahead and I forgot to add this one-fifth to the other side. Remember in the addition property of equality is what I do on one side of the equation, I'm going to do on the other side of the equation. So I see right here, I have two fractions with the same denominators or like denominators. Therefore, I can just go ahead and add the numerators, three plus one, is four, and I keep my denominator of five. All right, let's go ahead and check our work. So here we go. I have a negative one fifth plus, we know that C is supposed to, so wherever I see a C, I'm going to insert a four fifths. Therefore, and it's all supposed to equal three fifths. So when I combine my numbers together, I, have an, I know that I have like denominators, so I'm going to have a like denominator in my answer. And this is supposed to equal 3 fifths, so let's check it out. I have a positive 4 and a negative 1, so 4, and I'm going to add a negative 1. That gives me 3. So sure enough, 3 fifths equals 3 fifths. Therefore, C equals 4 fifths is the correct answer.